my name is uh, Eduardo. I'm a researcher in neural engineering and in clinical neuroscience at the University Hospital in Lausanne in Switzerland. Uh, the focus of our group is to understand motor impairments affecting patients with Parkinson's disease and then to use that to understand how to devise new therapies that can help alleviate these deficits. Um, and in particular, we're very interested in characterizing deficits of uh, locomotion difficulties that patients might experience when they walk, when they stand up, when they turn. The smart suit is giving us the perfect trade-off between simplicity, accuracy and flexibility, which for us is it's very important that patients feel comfortable, that they can move naturally in all environments and to be able to accurately monitor how they perform, they perform their task in real time. So for instance, we, we don't want to wait during long calibration periods uh, as it can ha happen with other systems. Um, we don't want to worry about occlusions, for example, which would restrict the movements that we ask patients to do. Um, and we want to flexibly change whether we perform recordings uh, in a hospital environment, uh, at the early stages after a surgery, or at home uh, during a follow-up at a later stage. So this is particularly important in subjects with neurological disorders who are intrinsically weaker, uh, more easily tired, more sensitive to constraints during movement. Uh, and I must say that in all the experiments that we performed so far, patients found it rather entertaining, actually. Their families, if they were present during the experiment, uh, they would even laugh, uh, they would interact with us about the suit, they would ask us whether this is something that they could take home. Um, so, you know, the intuitive and the nice 3D interface and the avatar definitely also helps to get the patient engaged in the task. So this is, for example, uh, an example of a recording we did on a, on a patient with Parkinson's disease. You see that he, he makes small steps, doesn't move much his arms. He has a bit of trouble to turn, so we can very nicely capture this. Uh, you see now he's going to sit down, he has a bit of difficulty yet again to turn. He makes very small steps and then he's very slow. So we can really capture what happens and the difficulties that he has in all kinds of activities in a very freely environment and in a very freely way. And uh, finally, the, this 3D environment uh, provides a very simple, very flexible, easy way to capture uh, the behavior of the patient and provides an easy language uh, for therapists, medical doctors, scientists to interact at the same level uh, in a way that's easy to understand, easy to analyze, and to exploit this 3D perspective aspect as well.